Okay, let's go now through the process of, crea of creating our Google credentials. What do we need first? A Gmail account, okay? If you don't have a Gmail account because in your email, in your country, Gmail is not popular or whatever reason, sorry, but you need to create a Gmail account. I mean, uh, I'm not going to do a video on how to create a Gmail account because I guess it's really simple. So go on YouTube and find how to create the first Gmail account. Once you have your first Gmail account, you should come to this URL. Okay, you come here and you write down cloud.google.com. Cloud.google.com. This is the Google Cloud platform that will uh, that um, it's uh, in charge of uh, providing us with credentials. Okay, so first of all, I'll put the language in English. Yeah, now it's in English. And uh, sign in. I'll sign in with my Gmail uh, account that uh, and um, that I. What I'm going to do now is to use a Gmail account that has never uh, used the Google Cloud platform so that if you are a user that never uh, heard about it, we will go through the same steps. If you are a user that, if you are a, a student that uh, knows very well the Google Cloud platform, you can forget this video. You can skip it because all I will do in this video is create log in for the first time in the Google Cloud platform. Okay, right. I have a Gmail that I think is not, yeah. Click next, couldn't find. One second, I missed spell this. Uh, yeah, now, next. Okay, I now to need to enable this because this is kind of a very secure process. So one, give me a minute. You, will, you should receive, perhaps your system your verifying system is different. You receive an SMS or a call. In my case, I need to, I have it linked with my phone. So yes, that's me. The number I need to put, I don't know if you have the same system that I have. Whichever validation system you have, they do it to verify it's you. Okay, I'm already logged in with this, uh, with this Gmail, great. Next step. Okay, well, uh, we need to go to the console. Here on the, uh, we will always go here, console. Okay, so click console. And they would start, they will start, they need some information about you in order to enable your account. Um, country, my country is Spain. Accept, yes, accept and continue. Why is this in Spanish if I establish the language is English. Let me change. Yeah, here I don't have any project and I don't have any organization. One moment, let me see why this is appearing me in Spanish. I'll log in again. Cloud.google.com. Language, no, English. Yeah, English and console. Why it's in Spanish, if I'm changing the language? Preference, one, one moment, let me change the language. Settings, language, English. Yeah, okay, now I have it in English. I, I sorry, sorry for this. Um, great, so we will need this, uh, we will interact with the section of, of uh, APIs and services. And, um, I'll enter from the beginning again, because this is something that we will do many times. Cloudgoogle.com, English. Why is changing continuously? Ah, I think it's because of the, I don't have setup. Yeah, now it's in English at least. Um, and we need a project. I don't have any project. And I think that we need an organization as well, but um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I always do it from an account that is ready. So what I'll do, it's uh, I will start the process and if I'm asked to do something, then it's when I will do it. I am sure that we need at least a project. Okay, we need at least a project. So please come here, APIs and services. If you don't have it, write down here, APIs, come here, APIs and services. Okay, 
APIs, APIs and services. You click here and you'll go to the menu of the APIs and services and it says to view this page select a project. You will see only this if you never used Google Cloud Platform before. And this is the, the case for the, the people that I'm doing the video for. Clicking create project and I'll call it mm, uh, N8N N, Udemy English Tutorial. Okay. I have no organization created and I think I think I don't need any. Leave it like this. Leave it like this. If you have an organization, select it. But I think that we don't really need it. Click on create. And now you will see that here you are attached to this project. Okay? And I have only one project, so there is only one project. If you have many projects, you can change here that project. Remember that every project works uh, independently. So um, if we create the credentials for a certain project, you cannot uh, use them for an, in a different project. That's how it works, okay? So for now, let's leave it here.